What's up, guys? So, this is just sort of an update, really. What I'm going to be doing with Campbell is we're going to be covering soon and writing the lore between 40,000 years ago to 0 AD in the CFR universe. Okay, guys? So, this will engulf the period between humanity's eventual destruction or, well, defeat of the Hadals and driving them out of the inner territories and literally leading them to their ultimate pretty much nothingness that they are now. Though we are, we do have some other Hadal lore that will take place before this and after, as we know that the Hadals are becoming a bigger and bigger subject within the CFR, and we're waiting for the eventual return of them more often than not in the CFR lore, as we have a very big project planned that I'm even yet to discuss with certain individuals within the CFR. So, like I said, this entire period Humanity itself, after this, there's not, I mean, it's not like humanity's on the verge of extinction, it just happens to be that a good chunk of humanity's intellectuals have died from the war 40,000 years ago. Really, what I'd say is the first human, really first human Hadal war and an attempt to create Hadal hegemony ends in humanity's victory. But I'm going to say, what we've got so far is, you know, after this, you know, most blacksmiths are kind of dead. Humanity's lost quite a bit of people, and a lot of sense of government's collapsed in on itself. There's a lack of resources, well, due to everything going to sheer armies. Okay, but it's not like humanity was super advanced. They'd say that they were pretty much probably a bronze and copper age people. Okay, but we're working on it. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to come up with it names. Campbell, um, can you give us a little bit of a preview of what you think that you want want to put into the idea? between this period, what you're going to go for? Yeah, so, um, Jariel was a more of a, they took more of a left-wing approach, so they, um, they more or less tried to seek peace with them all, but being as, kind of, they, they, they were less developed than us, but they, um, they still lacked the kind of brain power for politics, in a sense. Well, Hold up, I'm gonna see, okay, so, I don't see you know everything about it. So what I mean, Campbell, at this point, humanity is actually a little bit less than them. You gotta see, Campbell, in the lore, they're honestly, 400,000 years ago, were a great empire. And they're, they're on their toes at this point. Humanity's starting to catch up. But I mean, I can see what you're saying when you're writing, that human that, that the Jair are gonna be hesitant, and wanna figure out a way. But I'm going to be honest, while writing this, I feel like since the Hadals were a slaver race, that it's just not going to work out when we're writing. But, I mean, completely. We have to approach them like that. Yeah, we have to approach with that when we're writing. But let's be honest, how since we're they're a slaver race and still are technically in the writings, how, I mean, like, we're going to have to figure out a way to work with that, and clearly it's fails. Because the lore already states that humanity as a whole race is united. So, and we can't go back on anything we've already written unless it's too crazy. But yeah, I like the idea of perhaps one of them tries to negotiate with them. But yeah, hum the Hadals were not an unadvanced civilization as they are now. They were really advanced at that point compared to us. They weren't space age. They weren't fire they were on age. On. <clears throat> They were, in a sense, um, just to give you a kind of sense of what they were at, they were more or less at the verge of the musket. They were wielding iron weapons and stuff. Yeah, that's about right. I mean, now what we do know from lore and stuff is they do have green armor. What is it called, Campbell? You know that Chinese armor that's green but really... It's that gold kind of stuff. It's like kind of more... Um, you know, I, I mean, you, kind of like if you guys are, if I, like, if you guys get what I'm trying to say, I don't know the word for it right now. That we got so far down that they do wear, and, yeah. They also manufacture some gold armors, but that's only for high political figures. Yeah, that's pretty rare. Um, yeah, we're gonna completely attempt to write more, guys. Um, see you guys. That's just an update on that.